Hi, this is Dora Pinter with Service Star Realty and today I'm going to talk about service animals. We receive a lot of questions regarding service animals. It is a hot topic nowadays and there is a lot of gray area around it. In this video, I will shed light to a few items such as how to properly open conversation with the owner of a service animal, if it is okay to verify their documentation once they provide it, does it have to be a medical provider who verifies their information and disability? If you get some form that was issued through the internet or in another state, uh, can, you, can you use your pet addendum with service animals? And uh, do you have to allow multiple animals as service animals in one property? These are the topics we will touch upon in this short video today. There's a lot of confusion on what animals are considered service animal. Sometimes it is obvious that we are dealing with a service animal such as a seeing eye dog, but sometimes it is not so obvious, especially when the animal serves an emotional need. We need to be careful how we approach uh, the person with a disability. As people with disabilities are protected, it's a protected class according to fair housing rules. In managing your property, pay attention to start the engagement process when an applicant to your rental property tells you that they have a service animal. You need to remember not to question the person's disability. Instead, you need to engage in conversation and the best way to do it is by creating a standard form with the questions you want to ask. A standard form that they can take to their medical provider who can verify their disability. When a request for service animal is submitted, you have the right and the opportunity to verify all information on the application and you should. We routinely call the issuing medical facility to verify the signature of the document is valid. Who can fill out your form and verify the need for a service animal? According to our attorney, the person does not have to be a medical professional. It can be any caregiver, counselor, etc. Anyone who knows the disabled person well enough to make that diagnosis. What can you do when you receive a document from out of state? or over the internet from a provider that in your estimation does not even know the applicant. In this case, our attorney suggests that it is not unreasonable to request the opinion of, of a local person who knows the applicant in person to verify the condition stated. So the first important thing to take away from this video is you need to be careful not to question the existence of the disability, but just verify the authenticity of the documents. The second most important thing in the process is to know that you cannot charge any pet fees, pet rent, pet application fees. The service animal is not a pet and we cannot charge any fees. We can, however, mandate that the service animal follows all rules that a pet would need to regarding barking, sanitation, being on a leash, etc. They can sign off on your house rules in regard to all animals, pets or service animals, that you have, uh, all, that you have all applicants sign. If the service animal is violating your rules you set forth in your lease agreement or pet addendum, such as they are loud or bite somebody, we can request the tenant to get a different service animal instead. One last note, when a person has one disability, you need to allow only one service animal and in turn, if a person is requesting you to allow two service animals, in the home, they need to provide you with two doctor's notes for two separate conditions. In other words, you only need to accommodate one service animal per disability. Cannot have 10 cats helping a person with the same uh, conditions such as uh, emotional support. I hope I was able to shed some light uh, to the mystery surrounding service animals. It is a very new topic, very sensitive and cause legal issues if not followed properly. If you have any questions on the subject, please feel free to contact us and we will be happy to help you out. 
Thank you so much for watching.